Welcome to Fable Vision Games. This video is to help you as the admin or the teacher learn how to manage your account. So there's a couple ways to create your Fable Vision Games account. You can do it by going to the site, filling in the information, as you see here, making sure you have a username and a password that you create. And you create your account, and that account will then log you into the system, and you'll see that you have access to create classes, teachers, and students. You can also play the game. If you have purchased through a PO from Fable Vision Learning, this step of creating your account will already be done for you, and you're just gonna jump ahead now to creating your class. So when creating your class, you're going to enter in a class name. For this example, I'm using civics, so we're just going to call our class civics. Now, at this point, I can create a new teacher, and that teacher will be assigned to the class. So enter the first name, the last name, and the email address, and it will send that teacher an invitation. But I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to do that step later. Instead, within our class, we're going to provision a number of seats. This class has 10 students, so I'm going to put in 10 seats to the game. Now I can hit view class and I can see that I have a class called civics with an account code but I don't have any students loaded. So the next step we're going to do is we are going to look at loading students. So I'm going to go over to classes and I'm going to click create new student. If I create a new student I can enter in the student's first name, last name, username, password, and assign a license right here. That's pretty easy. So now my student is in that class. But what if I want to add more students and upload a roster? So I click Upload Roster. I click, click here. It downloads the template to enter in the necessary information. So it's a CSV file where I can put in my first name, last name, username, and password for my students. So I'm just going to fill this in really fast. Um, and every student's going to have the same password. And I click Upload Roster, Find My Roster. If it doesn't show errors, you're going to see that I can just hit Save. Now, if there is an error, it will show up on this page. But there's not, so I'm hitting Save. The students are loading, and the students are now in this class but they don't have a game assigned to them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click Assign to Students. When I select Assign to Students, I can hit Select All, and that will assign this game to every student in this class. You'll see my students all have an assigned game to them. So the same steps that we just took to create Student accounts can be done for teachers. So download your CSV file, select save, fill in the required information, and you'll notice on that CSV file, there's a difference. You're only filling in the first name, last name, and email. This is because your teachers are going to get an email to ask them to create their own passwords. So I'm gonna fill it on in, and then save it, and upload it the same way I did with the student account. See, no errors, I'm gonna hit save. It's gonna send an email notification to my teachers. Um, and you'll see in my teacher list, it will say re-notify if they haven't activated their account. So now let's look at being a teacher. So I'm over here in my teacher account. I just got an email that says teacher account creation requested. And I am going to click on the link to set my password. I'm going to click on this link, choose my password, fill in the password that I'm going to use. And once I do that, it is going to allow me to log in. So when you log in as a teacher, I'm going to put in, again, the password I just created. And it is going to bring me to the same registration screen that the teachers, the admins had to fill out. So you enter in your role, you enter in everything, complete registration. Once the registration is complete, you're going to log in and it's going to log you into your classes. And you're going to see that as a teacher, you don't have any classes 
created yet because um, your admin hadn't created them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select create new class and I'm going to do a class name for it. Um, let's not get too creative. We'll just say teacher um, and hit save. And if I go to edit my class, you're going to see I don't have any seats provisions here because my admin has not provisioned any seats. So now you go back over to the admin portal. And in the admin portal, you are going to do the next step. So now the admin can see that their teacher has just joined. See, I'm in the admin portal. I'm going to go over to classes and I'll see that my teacher has just created a class. So as an admin, I'm going to edit that class and I'm going to provision additional seats. And for this one, I'm going to put in, you know, 10 students and hit confirm, hit save. And now that teacher can go in and upload their students um, to that account. One thing to note is that both teachers and admins can select play game to play the games provisioned to that account. So this account has some beanies, civics, and animation-ish. You have play, and there you go. You're playing the game. This part of the video is going to talk about how to manage student accounts. So you'll see under classes, there is an account code. That is the same code that students are going to use when logging in. You can also click print credentials, download a PDF of the student's credentials, or you can print it out. So you'll see there has the username, password, and what games are provisioned to that student. So your students are going to go to the same login screen the teachers go to. They're going to enter in their account code. They're going to hit submit. Then they're going to enter in their username and their password. And they're going to be able to play the game that was provisioned to them. So you can see how that works right here. There are other things that you can do as an admin or a teacher um, to student accounts. You can edit your students. You can go in, change a first name, last name. You can remove licenses. That's going to open up a seat for a different student. Um, you can transfer them to a different class. You can decide that you are going to deactivate your student. If you deactivate your student, that opens up that seat to a different student, but it doesn't, it doesn't delete the student's information. So it just kind of puts it on hold for a bit. So you deactivate them, you can reactivate it and hit confirm. And when you hit confirm, um, when you hit confirm, sorry, um, it is going to allow you then to edit the student. When you edit the student, you're going to assign the, the games back to them. And now that student can pick up where they left off. For a more permanent approach to getting rid of students um, within your class, you can select the trash button. And the trash button is going to delete the student completely. It is going to delete their account. And that means the student will no longer have access and their data will be deleted. Um, you will not be able to change this or bring them back. So this is different ways that you can manage your accounts within Fable Vision Games. And I hope you enjoy Fable Vision Games and um, continue to explore the different things that Fable Vision Learning has opened to you. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to tech support at tablevisionlearning.com and we will be here to help.